This is the pot holder we're working on here. It's a right angle split triangle in four different colors. You need nine loops each for the four colors on a traditional loom. First, I'm gonna start with my pink. Go across the center. I'm gonna do my purple. Go across the center. Whatever color you put next to each other like this are gonna be opposites on the pattern. Then I'm gonna go across in the center with my white. And I'm gonna go across in the center. Oh, well, that's all right, with my green. Then I'm gonna lift up the pink and go over this green. I'll show you how this is gonna work. And then I'm gonna lift up this purple and put it over. So here's what you have. The pink goes under the white over the green. The green goes under the pink over the purple. The purple goes under the green over the white, and the white goes under the purple over the pink. All right, now we're gonna do the right angle twists. You take the part of the loop that's lower, lift it up, top one down, just like that. Twist the loom, lower one up, Top one down. Twist the loom. Lower one up, top one down. Twist the loom. Lower one up, top one down. You know that you're done doing these right angle twists when all the colors, all the white is here, all the purple's here, all the green's here, and all the pink is here. Now we're gonna get a white one, because the white matches this. And see how this is going under here? We're gonna go over, this is a weaving part. We're gonna go over this one and under this one, like this. This is going under, so this one's going over. This one's going over, so this is going under. I hope you catch that, it's just a weaving thing. Turn it around, main color is pink, get your pink. This one's going over, so we're gonna go under, over, under, because this is over, so we have to do the opposite. Turn it around again, main color here is green. This is going over, so we're gonna go under, over, under, attach it to the sides. You have to do a lot of scrunching, turn it around. Purple, see how this loop is going under here? We have to go over it then. We have to do the opposite, because we are now weaving. Over, under, over, under. Okay, then you have to scrunch it. All right, now you do the same thing you did before. Um, lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top, down. See how the triangles are already starting to form here. All right. Get the white again. Weave it. Whatever's going on, you do the opposite. See how that's over? You want to go under. And then just hook it. Turn it. Pink. Turn it around, green. And 
add one more purple. Now, sometimes I have forgotten to do my right angle twists, but I'm gonna give you a trick here. First, we're gonna scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch. Okay, so after you do the weaving, you know you have to do your right angle twists because this needs to be all purple, this needs to be all white, this needs to be all pink, and this needs to be all green. So lower one up, top one down. 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 Just keep on doing the same thing. You're just weaving. Weaving, excuse me, weaving and then right angles. That's the whole enchilada. Turn it around, get the pink. purple. You're just kind of like doing concentric loops or passes around this center here. You do four and then you stop and you do the right angles again. Okay. As I remind you, we don't have solid purple here, so we know we didn't do the right angles. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. You can see the triangles are starting to take shape here. Let's go the opposite, whatever, whatever the last one was, you just do the opposite. This is over, so this is going under. This is just simple over under, nothing exotic. Pink. Green. Purple. These are wool loops, but it doesn't matter. You can do cotton loops too. So, 
as I always say, this is not solid pink, so this is not solid white, etc. So you have to do your right angle twists, lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. Lower up, top down. You do have to keep packing these down. This is a very tight weave. Um, when you get close to the end, you'll see that. White. Pink. Sometimes you have to cut these threads because they're annoying. Annoying! It's a little bit twisted. I'm going to switch that. Maybe. Do I like it that way? Sometimes you can never tell which way you should have it. Okay. Keep weaving. these things down. Reminder, lower one up, top one down. Lower one up, top one down. Lower one up, top one down. Up, top one down. As I was saying a little bit earlier, this is a very tight pattern. So I'm going to use my trusty safety pin now. Don't suffer. Don't try and be a hero. Use a safety pin. Some people use um, hair clips. It's just as easier to weave at a, when it gets so close to the edge, like this. Kidding, this safety pin is a saving grace. Just doing the same thing you've been doing already. Over, under, over, under, etc., etc.
once you see how you do this, you see how easy it is, right? Just like anything. It does take a little effort at the end because as I said, it is very tight at the end. But it's worth it because it's pretty when you're done. Tighten it, pack it down, okay, my ongoing reminder, the colors are not solid, so lower one up, top one down. 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 Now when I say it gets tied, I'm not kidding around, so. even have to start lifting this up. You're literally, if it gets too much, you're just going to sew it. I can't even imagine thinking of trying to do this with a hook. <laughs> Oops, I didn't go under that one all the way, did I? Oops, mistake. Go back down. All right, gotta go over that one. Yeah, you can do this with a hook. God bless you, that's what I say. This whole sewing thing of going over and under is a lot less aggravating than popping off your loops. They still might pop off, but you have a lot less chance that that'll happen if you do it like this. See how tight that's getting? Mamma Mia!
After you do this enough times, you can see that it's pretty easy. You just have to pay attention and weave and then do your right corners, weave, right corners, you know, same thing every time. You're just going around in a circle, kind of. Closer you get to the edge, the more challenging these right angle things become. But totally doable. All right, one more row of purple. Before I do the right angles. Twisted, you have to untwist it. Unhook this. Excuse me, I got the jacket on. Now I'm getting a little bit hot. Okay, then scrunch a little bit. You got to do your right angles. Getting challenging here. Lower one up. Up one down. I'm going to use the hook on this one. Lower one up. Top one down. Lower one up. you need to get your hook give you some assistance top one down well if you got this far you're golden just got one more row that's it
Oops, now see what I accidentally did there. Watch where you're going. I do not want to split my loop. Constantly tap it down. There's a little shelf under this loom, so it takes a little bit of working to get the safety pin through, but not too bad. I guess you could use a smaller safety pin if you want. Like I said, it gets very tight, so just be aware of that. These wool loops are nice. They have a nice stretch to them. They are more expensive than cotton loops, but I, I encourage you to splurge. Even if you just do it once, just to try them for the heck of it.
tight quarters. But don't be discouraged because the end result is worth it. All right, one more scrunching. Gotta pack it down. All right, one more right angle twist. It's a little bit tight. And all of your right angle twists are done. How do you know? All the colors are solid. Only purple, only green, only pink, only white. And so let's see here. And you gotta decide where you're gonna start to weave. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try and match it. The last one, if you already know how to cast off these things, voila, there is your thing. to hook some loops back on to keep the tension. bit of something extra here, but I'm just going to weave it in at this point. There we go.
little bit of a blip on that pink part, but I don't think it's a crisis. Let's see here. It is tight. That's for sure. Go around the bend. Hook this one on. Some people use clips for this part. But I find that just doing this is, seems to be okay, but quite tight that's for sure corner put some tension on here <clears throat> go around this last corner I'm gonna hook this one of these loops here for tension center one. Well, you know what? That's the last row. We might be able to pass on that center one. Loop and 
get this off here. guys back down again see if I can get this or not there you go there you have it. Straighten it out a little bit, etc., etc., but you get the general idea. <laughs> All right. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.